What is going on, Trash Talkers? We are back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're going to give you our top five trades that need to happen before the start of the 2022 NFL season. All that and much more coming your way right now. All right, before we get into today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video as it will help us out tremendously. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. All right, Nick, as the start of the 2022 season fast approaches, I have five trades that I believe need to happen before we get to week one, and I want to hear your thoughts on them. So first, I want to start off with a banger right off the bat. Blockbuster trade, Seattle sends Tyler Lockett to the Dallas Cowboys... So they have a running mate with CD Lamb. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think that's a really solid acquisition for the Dallas Cowboys. They definitely have a hole with Amari Cooper being gone. And now we see James Washington going down. Michael Gallup may not be there for the start of the season. They need to make sure that they have a running mate, like you said, for CD Lamb. Tyler Lockett has so much to offer, and I don't think he's going to have drew lock be that russell wilson type quarterback for him he's not going to see the same targets he's not going to see the same accurate passes dak prescott can offer that i think that's a great pairing i think that he could help them win an extra couple of games and potentially win the division i i love the locket pick and i wanted to hear your thoughts because i think tyler locket adds a dynamic to this offense that we haven't seen in quite some time. Yeah, C.D. Lamb is quite fast, but he's more of a polished route runner who's going to really beat you with his technique. Tyler Lockett's going to beat you over the top with that speed, man. And with Dak Prescott's arm and what he's going to be able to do stretching the field, and you have Dalton Schultz underneath, and, and when Michael Gallup comes back, he can do the short crossing routes. You have a trio of receivers, a tight end, and don't forget about that manimal Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. I really like what this Dallas Cowboys offense would look like. All right, I, another trade I want to hear from you. Deion Jones from the Atlanta Falcons to the Los Angeles Chargers, pairing him with Kenneth Murray in the middle of that defense. They already revamped it with Khalil Mack and JC Jackson. Why not go get Deion Jones while you're at it? Absolutely. I think that this Los Angeles Chargers defense had a lot of issues last year and adding Khalil Mack and JC Jackson are amazing additions to this team. But like you said, the middle of this defense has not gotten the same love and they're going to get exposed if they do not improve at this position. They've got some young guys that they can work with. Deion Jones is a known commodity and he is going to come in and show up right away. He is going to be a tackle machine like he is in Atlanta. He has durability. He's worked through his injury problems. Deion Jones can be a very strong anchor for them in the middle of this defense, especially as a mic'd up linebacker. I, I love Deion Jones going in there to Los Angeles and working with this defense. When you take a look at what the Chargers have been able to build on the defensive side of the ball. We mentioned Khalil Mack and JC Jackson, but you can't forget about Joey Bosa, who's there. You can't forget about their big defensive tackle, Linval Joseph, in the middle, thwarting that running game, and Kenneth Murray being that big pop in the middle of the defense. Deion Jones can play a lot of pass coverage. He can go sideline to sideline. He is the missing piece to this Chargers defense that could send them to Super Bowl 57. All right, another trade I want to get to, Nick, and someone would say this is more of a need than something that's too flashy, but I want to talk about Justin Britt going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to replace Ryan Jensen, who obviously went down with that torn ACL. Nick, what are your thoughts from the Houston Texans perspective sending Justin Britt to Tampa Bay? Well, from the Houston Texans perspective, I think it makes sense because Davis Mills may be their future quarterback, but they're just not going anywhere right now. Why not go and get draft assets? That's what GM Nick Casario loves. He wants to build through the draft and giving up Justin Britt is not going to destroy this offensive line. They are mediocre as it is and giving up an up and coming center who has potential is not someone that you can't replace in the future with those draft picks. Tampa Bay obviously needs to replace Ryan Jensen and Tom Brady needs somebody he can trust. Justin Britt is only a few years into this league, is a young and up and comer, and I think Tom Brady could teach him a lot and they could really work well together on this offense. 
I think this would be a great addition. It is not somebody that really stands out to you, but I think that he would go a long way in helping this offense. If there's one thing that Tom Brady has always preached, it is consistency and the viability of his center. He likes to have that chemistry with his center. We, we have seen it all throughout his years in New England and now with Ryan Jensen in Tampa Bay. He has very big quirks when it comes to the way he works with his centers and they need to be on the same page at all times. The way he runs his offense, the center is the quarterback of the offensive line. They need to be able to see coverages and schemes the same way that the quarterback does. So Justin Britt moving in and being that solidifying piece to this offensive line makes a lot of sense in my eyes. All right, Nick, another big flashy trade that I could see happening and I want your thoughts on the Washington commander sending Curtis Samuel to the Baltimore Ravens alongside Rashad Bateman for Lamar Jackson. Nick, your thoughts on this one. Yeah, this one's a little interesting because Curtis Samuel, he did not really play too much last year, having a few different injuries that he was working through. And there are a lot of young and hungry wide receivers that the commanders have to work with. So replacing him would not be too big of an issue. But Baltimore, on the other hand, does not have a lot of receivers that they can pull on. They need somebody that they can rely on opposite Rashad Bateman and Curtis Samuel being the speedster can be a big threat to replace Hollywood Brown. They need that guy who can take the top off the defense. And Lamar Jackson has proven that his deep ball is getting better. I think those two could have a great connection. The only issue for me is, can Baltimore rely on Curtis to stay healthy? That's going to be the big question mark. And I think with that question looming, they could get him at a relatively cheap price and just try it out to see if it works. Yeah, I think the addition of Jahan Dotson in the draft really set the mark for Curtis Samuel to kind of leave this roster via trade at some point. I believe that Jahan Dotson is the younger, faster, cheaper version of Curtis Samuel in, in this Ron Rivera offense. I think that him and Terry McLaurin will be fantastic together and then sending Samuel to Baltimore, which is literally a stone's throw away from Washington, D.C. So he's not going to even have to move, but I think it would work out well for both clubs and for Curtis Samuel in the process. All right, Nick, our final trade that I want to talk about, one that everybody has had a thought on, and this would be Jimmy Garoppolo to the Cleveland Browns. And the, I want to preface this by saying, with everything going on with Deshaun Watson, his appeals and everything going on, I fully expect that Deshaun Watson will be missing the majority, if not the full 2022 NFL season. With that being said, I believe that Jimmy Garoppolo would be the perfect one-year rental for Cleveland to supplement what they have, which is a championship caliber team and a guy who has been to the Super Bowl multiple times. And I think he could lead the Cleveland Browns to that promised land. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think that Jimmy Garoppolo would be a great addition in Cleveland, especially if Deshaun is out for the season. But they're going to have to pay a hefty price for a one-year rental. And I just don't know if Cleveland is really willing to do that. Would they rather just have a bad season with Jacoby Brissett and reap the rewards of a better draft pick and have Deshaun Watson back with a quality rookie next season that is something that they have to think about to me jimmy garoppolo is not going to get you a lot of wins he will make the cleveland browns an average team a middle of the pack eight and nine nine and eight team at the end of the year and you're going to end up with a 15th or 16th overall pick i just don't know that cleveland should do that and ruin any opportunity at getting a gold mine pick out of such a bad situation, that's something that they need to consider because for me, I'd definitely be tempted to take that route. Yeah, I, I think the the shiny object is that they have a win now team. When you take a look at the way this defense is built, they are young, they are hungry. Miles Garrett is paid and ready to go. You have this offense that you recently got Amari Cooper. You have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. This offensive line is spectacular. You got David and Joku ready to go. Like you have everything set. 
and obviously the quarterback position is the biggest question mark. A guy like Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't need to throw for 5,000 yards and 50-plus touchdowns. He needs to throw for 3,500 to 4,000 yards and 35-ish touchdowns. He will minimize the ability to throw interceptions. He will minimize turnovers altogether. He knows how to command an offense. He comes from that Bill Belichick tree of coaching. He comes from that Tom Brady tree of backup quarterbacks. He knows what it takes. He's been in competitive divisions already. I think he has what it takes to take the Cleveland Browns not only atop the AFC North, but possibly toward a Super Bowl. I'm not completely sold, but it'll be definitely something to watch out for. Absolutely. But I want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of these five trades. Let us know if you think that we should have included any other ones as well. Let us know in the comments down below. All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. That'll be all. Peace and love.